The Glock Party podcast started at some point. What got you guys to like go on the podcast side of things? Um, fe- uh, me and Chrome, uh, we always thought like we'd be talking a lot of shit to the point where it needs to be recorded. So like we just wanted to make that content and we kind of like are both the same as like we kind of procrastinate and don't do as much as we should maybe in the music department or the content department and, you know, just branding ourselves and all that shit. So it kind of never got like done until like Feezy came on board and was like, oh, y'all want to do this? He's like, bet. So we're doing it. He's like, I just bought all the shit. You have to send me the money. No, no, no. <laughs> like he, he was really like, okay, we're starting this shit. And he's like, I'm going to do all the moderating. And then no, no, no. he set it all up. He bought all the shit. We just put in money. Like Feezy's really the one who, who was like, you guys need to stop fucking fucking around and do this shit and did it with us. You know, he's a big part of the show. He um, is a big part of the show. Yeah, man. And the Feezy reveal is coming. Don't worry. I saw Without you guys sauce. teased it in your thumbnail <laughs> and I watched it and I'm like, ah, there's no face reveal in this one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah no man uh and and you know what's fucked up is when because of the whole like we're oh we're doing a podcast with all like a kind of like a stigma around like when we go to press record we don't do the fucking like talking shit that we originally set out to do so like we're finally getting to like oh, okay like bro fuck you on the next pod like we're talking about this i'm gonna body you like you know what, you know what i mean is, like we're gonna argue like, I don't, we need I, to argue more bro i i don't know if that's true that's like a perception people have if you like look at it. Yeah. But you guys, you prove to me how smart you are. Like okay. <laughs> beyond the shadow of a doubt. Like I, what, your first two episodes, you were kind of like letting Chrome, he was way less nervous than you. But like yeah. as you came in, because you actually watched all their shit. I'm on like if I make a podcast, I should at least watch like two or three of them on some like karma yeah. shit. <laughs> like, Learn. Yeah, facts. Um. And I'm like watching the shit you say and arguably you clearly understand stats and shit in a deeper level. Often you're a voice of reason, in my opinion. Mm. And like as much Mm -hmm. as you might want to go down some talk shit things, I think it's super interesting to watch you guys have a rational discussion about shit like crowd sizes in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Like I don't don't know. Like it's to me, it's more meaningful to not do the shit talk and actually yeah. use the platform you're creating for like showcasing this whole other side of you that arguably is not as prevalent on Facebook. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> and I think, yeah, I'm guys, kind of an asshole online, <laughs> but like when you're watching this, I'm like, say a word, this dude like be reading and learning and coming in with facts and sources and like super well yeah, thought man. out arguments all the time. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, nah, because like sometimes people might have opinions, but it's I feel like right. watching your show, the way you guys have done it, made me rethink everything. Even about like DMS, you hear some chitter chatter, and then I'm watching this, and I'm mm-hmm. like, Yo, Feezy sounds fucking smart too. Everybody be sounding yeah, fucking Feezy's smart a here. genius. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck. And I'm like, wow, you know, I'm, and I really just can't enjoy it. I mean, thanks, man. I appreciate you a lot. And Still. like, arguably, if y'all were just doing shit talk troll shit, it would be like every other white dude podcast. Yeah. 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 I don't really mean shit talk troll shit. It's just that we have like, we actually have disagreements like on a lot of shit that's like ent- entertaining as fuck. Like we both have good reasons why we believe a certain thing and we can both go off on it for a long time. And we never end up like recording those like heated d- discussions, you know? Which, like, they sometimes they even happen, like, right before we press record and shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, it just ends up being, like, mm. it would be a funny clip, you know? Like, to make a little clip and put it online. That's fair. I or think, think we, yo, that's why you do that on the yeah. Twitch. So you go live on the yeah. Twitch, you guys fuck around. Facts. We need to have, be, and then we need to play games and shit on Twitch. Um, and then you have that actually. side of yourourself that pops up, yeah, because it's all branding shit, yeah. right? Like, because really, it's like, I well, would, no, I just, yeah. Because your branding is, like, really about the complete package of who you are beyond the particular product it's like mm-hmm. the product is the product and then branding is everything else and then does the product but, make sense to everything else so it's like 
the more people can get to know you guys beyond the image honestly in this mm -hmm. era it's like i hear you guys joke about getting canceled all the time and i'm like eh, you guys are pretty good influencers <laughs> like yeah. you guys just are yeah. influencers like clearly chrome wants to be jake paul a little bit and he's just living it up <laughs> and it's dope and it, and, and i say it like with respect because jake paul is a really good person not like okay i don't want to call him a really good person on ethical tips and shit i don't know him like that but he's a really good We're person to emulate if you're trying to actually get some clout in this game because he's managed to do some wild shit successfully but bro that, Drake, uh, chrome is a fan of all those guys that's why he's good at what he does you know he's, uh, he's a fan of like drake and like all these guys that everyone hates that's super popular and shit just justin bieber like he's always been an early supporter of those guys because mm. i guess it works for him you know i'm not as huge a fan of bieber i mean i like his music but him he's whatever but Drake, I get it. Aubrey is like a fascinating character because, yo, I just saw that there's a patty place going out of business and Drake offered to buy it in Toronto. Like, yeah, it's hilarious. I don't know if he's actually going to do that shit. I don't think he's actually going to do that shit. But like, if, but like, Randy's patty is shut yeah, up. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that they just, because, yo, if you read the article, they're like, we're old is like, <laughs> one of the reasons they're closing drake's money is yeah, yeah like we're selling this shit bro like, <laughs> like we're, we're done. done we've been doing this for 40 <laughs> years unless you're gonna throw in a bunch of 20 unless, year olds to take over bro unless yeah bro unless you're gonna come work here drake freak off <laughs> or send some ovo peoples <laughs> but like come make fucking drake and patties all day i mean there might be somebody down but evidently that's what i took from that article is there's finances and we're old and, but yeah, Drake actually Word. does do shit like that though, from what I understand. Like he really does invest mm -hmm. in Toronto like that. So yeah, like, for sure, bro. Respect for hometown that. hero. Man. He's like a guy. Like if I was wealthy, I highly would emulate down to the mansion and shit. I don't care. I want a giant ass mansion you can see on Google Maps. Um, but like, oh yeah, what's your go to inspiration? Lindell is asking. Uh, that. My go to inspiration. For, for what, like for battles and shit? Let's go with or battles like, and music. Uh, grimy shit, bro. Uh, fucking Vinnie Paz, um, Cool G Rap, Scarface, uh, fucking Conway the Machine, uh, Benny the Butcher, uh, you know, shit like that. Hardcore rap music is my main inspiration. That's the shit that I hear and I'm like, oh, fuck, I should get to writing. Like, I should <laughs> I should be writing right now. Um, but I do love all music. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just that, like, I never heard, like, a really good soul song. Like, I love soul music, but I never hear a good soul song. I'm like, oh, I wish I could write a soul song right now. Like, um, <laughs> but I do hear, but I do hear, like, fucking... You know, like a sick, sick bars and like a sick beat. And I'm like, oh, I love that shit. I want to do that shit. So I don't know. That's I guess that kind of shit is my inspiration. Man.